Evacuations are also happening in the area where that fire started near Ford. Krem 2Z and Smay was there today and spoke with people who nearly lost their home. Fire officials said earlier today that they estimated the size of the Ford Corkscrew fire at 5,000 acres, and crews believe that it has actually grown by a couple thousand more acres by now. If it has grown that much, it is about twice the size of Cheney. And as the fire started yesterday, some people watched as the flames raced towards their homes. Kadena Francis went outside to check her laundry yesterday afternoon near the town of Ford. Instead, she found a fast moving wildfire. Went out to check the check our laundry and smelled the massive smoke and looked out the back door and saw I ran out front, saw the huge plume just over the rise there and that was about it. Kadena and her husband Tracy had to rush to gather their stuff as the Ford Corkscrew fire moved closer. Well, the first thing you do is you panic. Yeah. <laughs> you panic and you think, what do I absolutely need to get out of here? You know, certain paperwork, titles to vehicles, get our dogs out of here. They say the flames from the fire almost took out their home and so much more. Well, it was pretty wild. Uh, we got lucky. I mean, really, it was like a matter of perfect timing. We yeah. almost lost the house, the shop, the whole neighborhood. They weren't the only lucky ones. The Cummings family lives right down the road. They shared these photos showing just how close the flames got. Unfortunately, one of their barns was among those lost in the fire so far. At least one abandoned home has been destroyed as well. Fire officials also say they have received reports of more buildings lost, but they don't have an official count. Part of the reason people were able to save their homes was through the help of the community. You know, I had uh, I had some, a friend bring a, a 400 gallon water tank up with a, a gas pump. So I was out there with the hose too. <laughs> <laughs> Airplanes and helicopters have been on scene so far today. Fire officials say crews from the Washington Department of Natural Resources, the Spokane Tribe of Indians, and local agencies from Spokane and Stevens counties are on scene. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. The fire is still 0% contained, and I can tell you that at times today, the winds have picked up, which is not making life any easier for fire crews out here. Reporting in Ford, Ian Smay, Krem 2 News.